right guys welcome back so if you've been following along you know that uh, the upcoming bull season's coming up so in preparation I want to go through all the gear that I'm going to be using this year um, I'll explain to you guys why I have certain things basically the the biggest thing for me is budget um, I don't have a whole lot of disposable income so Realistically, I had to work within certain budget constraints, but at the same time, I like to get quality stuff within my budget. So, let's get started. I'll start pulling one thing up at a time, telling you guys where I got it, why I got it, and how much it cost me, all right? So, I mean, for the first, first thing first, we are going to start with the clothing. So, uh, for the pants, I have these. They are, and Ascend pants. Uh, the reason I went with these is because one already had them, but they're a very breathable uh, pant. Um, so they're gonna be nice and comfortable to sit in all day. As for my shirt, I have a True Timber, um, I guess it's kind of like a jersey material. Um, I actually bought this for fishing, but it can double for me for hunting. Again, this was also on sale. And I really like these, again, really breathable and uh, really, really comfortable. Now, as for my jacket, this, this is something I'm pretty stoked about. I actually found this at Value Village for 20 bucks. It is a scent locker uh, hunting jacket uh, with the real tree camel. So this was actually a steal of a deal. I probably wouldn't be rocking this if uh, I didn't find it for the price that I found it. Um, I forget what brand of gloves these were, uh, but I bought my Canadian Tire. Uh, again, I think they were on sale for $19.99. So these I actually use for ice fishing as well. So again, double uses. Then, just have a plain Jane, real tree camel uh, neck gaiter that I'm gonna be wearing on my face. And my hat is actually a, a big brimmed hat. This is Ute Outdoors. I actually picked this up on Amazon for I believe around 20 bucks. It does come with the back cover so if it is a really sunny day I got a little protection on my neck again I mainly bought this for fishing but it's going to double as my hunting hat as well the nice thing with this I found is actually when I come to anchor because of the soft brim it doesn't interfere with my bowstring like uh, a build hat does I know some people like that but I don't now boots boots I am running the high techs um, Again, budget. These were $130. I needed a pair of uh, hiking boots anyways. Um, being size 14, I don't have a whole lot of options. Pick these up at Mark Warehouse. So that's, that's it for clothing. Um, very basic. Um, like I said, I have just enough camo. I think that uh, it's gonna break up my silhouette. I mean, realistically, all our fathers and grandfathers used to hunt in uh, red plaid. And you know what, it's funny because that actually works with a good camo. Basically, all the all the camo patterns and the plaid, what it does is it breaks up your silhouette. So think of a, you know, a tiger. Why it has the stripes on its body, it's to break up its silhouette to prey. So, uh, now a couple, now one thing that's new to me that I'm gonna be trying this year, because like I said, um, the last couple seasons, you know, just sitting inside the truck and the power lines with my grandfather and stepdad Doing something different. I'm in the bush and I need to get close to these deer Because I'm shooting traditional this year. So um, My effective kill range is about 20 yards. So I did pick up a couple things here. I do have a uh, Nose jammer bar soap. So I'm gonna be washing myself with this um, The night of my hunt and then I also have the nose jammer field spray that I'm going to be spraying all on myself. Do these work? No idea. Um, if you guys have had any 
experience with any of this stuff, let me know. If you guys have something that works really, really good, let me know and maybe next year I'll incorporate it into my hunt. Uh, now, what am I gonna be carrying most of my stuff in? Um, well, so this is my field pack. This is actually a trail builders pack. From back in BC, I used to build bike trails. So I've had this pack since then. This thing is not cheap at all. I mean, I did get a smoking deal, but I think these packs are around $300. They're really nice. This actually holds a chainsaw, which I've doubled as my tripod holder, rod holders. Um, I got some nice areas to carry my axes. Um, I got lots of storage inside. I even got some nice side pockets. This is very, very, very sturdy on me and very comfortable. So I don't usually go into the bush without this pack. I absolutely love it. And thank you, Randy at Rock and Road for hooking me up with this many, many years ago. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm gonna have to stop that guy for a second. I know, he's really handsome, he's really smart, but he did forget something. It's actually one of the, one of the things he actually built himself. So um, the one thing that I always carry into the bush with me as well, is this knife this is actually this is my bush knife um, this is what I'm gonna use to field dress my my deer and then I got a couple other knives that I'll be using to cut 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 them apart when I get home so anyways I'll let you get back to that guy I think he has a couple more things to say now to the important part the kill toy <laughs> so I'm going to start with my arrows so the arrows I'm gonna be running are, let's see here, a Black Eagle Carbon Vintage. Um, these are spined at 350. Um, they are a, a left helical, no, a right helical. Um, amazing arrow. I've actually, I'm very, very impressed. Um, this is probably one of the things I spent more money on. Um, I got six of these for $89. It's a little bit more what I want to spend on arrows, but this is gonna be the important part. I've cut these down to roughly 29 and a half, and that seems to be the length that works really, really good with my broadheads. As for the broadhead, Went pretty traditional style with the broad head. This is a Zwicky uh, Escalite with the bleeders. Um, they come in 135 grain. So a little bit heavier than my field tips. That's why I had to kind of tune up my arrows um, for these to fly straight. I have zero experience with these broad heads or any broad heads, but you know, I read nothing but good things. These are very, very old school. Uh, broadhead. They don't come sharp, so you need to know how to sharpen uh, the broadhead. So I haven't done my final sharpen. I won't do that till the end of the week. Um, but I got them pretty sharp right now. So anyways, that's my arrow. I'm going to be carrying two of these with broadheads, and then I'm going to be carrying three judo points with me, just in case I run into any small game. Um, the way I see it is I shouldn't need more than one arrow. I definitely don't need more than two arrows. Now the bow. Now, I know some of you guys are probably disappointed that I don't have a bow that I've built myself. Um, unfortunately, my first bow uh, broke on me. And with everything that's happening with my grandfather and just trying to spend as much time as I can with him, I just haven't had the time to build myself uh, another bow before. Well guys, I'm not exactly sure what happened to the end of the footage there, um, but I mean this is the this is the best part of all my gear, so I gotta share it with you. So, anyways, it's my bow. So the bow itself um, is a Black Hunter longbow that I picked. It's actually made by Sino Art. I picked it up off Amazon for dirt cheap. These are 129 bucks. They come with a string. 
the arrow rest, limbs, riser, everything ready to shoot. Uh, I will be doing a full review on this thing because it is awesome. It is a 65 pound bow, so that's more than enough stopping power. So the string that comes with it is kind of junky. So anyways, I got a, a D97 Flemish twist string made here in town. Uh, and man, just the string itself quieted down this bow immensely. Uh, now, as for the silencers, me and Olivia actually cleaned up and we tanned uh, some muskrat and then I just twisted up some little silencers, which I also do a video on how to do these silencers. Uh, as for the quiver, I mean, if you've seen my video from a couple of videos back, you know that this is just a cheap, a cheap flip flop. But anyways, that's my hunting bow this year. I absolutely love it. I know it's not one of my custom bows that that was the plan, but things changed this year. So this was a cheap entry bow that actually shoots amazing. So yeah, so I hope that um, everything comes together and I end up harvesting a deer this year. If not, you know what, it's going to be a learning experience regardless. Um, let me know down in the comments what you guys think of my gear. Uh, what would you guys do differently? Uh, what would you add to it? Uh, again, everything I do is budget conscious. So if you are going to recommend something, don't recommend something to me that's going to cost more than all my gear put together because that's just not who I am. And if that's what you're looking for out of me, I'm sorry, this is not the channel for you. But anyways, um, like I said, that's that's my gear. That, that's all, all there is to it. Really, we're just gonna have to get out in the field, put in some hard days, and hopefully we'll get a deer. But if you're liking this content, don't forget to hit smash that like button at the bottom. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe because you know what, this is my first bow season and there's gonna be some wicked videos coming up. But anyways, I'm gonna leave it at that. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you guys in the next one.